Assalamu alaikum, how are you my dear students? Today I will talk about very important subject which is lesson 26 for grade 6, uh, writing inequalities. Our objective today, by the end of the session, students should be able to write an inequality to describe a real world situation. Here we start. What is inequality? Inequality is a mathematical sentence that contains these one of these symbols less than, greater than, less than or equal, greater than or equal. How can you write an inequality to describe the age of the children who must be accompanied by an adult at the sledding hill? It's easier to use an inequality to present many values rather than making a list here what are some age of children who must be accompanied by adult an adult you can show some of the age on the number line let me go back the question itself here let a represent the age of children who must be accompanied by an adult use this than symbol to write the inequality a is less than a this inequality is read as A is less than 8. So this means that children who are less than 8, they will be accompanied by an adult. Must children who are 8 years old be accompanied by children? Here, look at the question. What about the student or the children who, whose age are 8? They should bring or they should accompanied by an adult or no? Here, A is less than or equal 8 or less than 8. It is less than 8. So about the students or the children who are 8, they should not be accompanied by an adult. Here, this table is very important in this session because in this table, we can explain all the symbols of the equality. The length of a piece of wire, L, is longer than 20 feet. Here, look, longer than. So, L is greater than 20. It's not equal. It's just greater than because the length of the piece of wire is longer than 20. But look at the second example. The cost of the pizza, C, will cost at least 8. But when I say at least, it means it can be 8 or more. It should not be less than. Now, in the second case, here, the cost of uh, the visa, C, will cost at least 8. So it can be 8 or more than 8. So 8 is included in the values. So we put C greater than, is greater than or equal 8. Henry height, H, is less than 60 inches. So H is less than 60. It can't be 60. It should be less than 60, 58, 59. The number of students is, is at most 30. At most 30, so it can't exceed 30. It can be 30 or less, but it can't be more than 30. So we write S is less than or equal 30. Zoe's age, Z, is not 11. So it can be, is not equal 11. It means it can be less than or equal than, but it can't be 11. Here we have some examples. In two and three, write the inequality for each situation. Look, number two, a number n is greater than 22. So, n is greater than 22 or greater than or equal? But in the question, he said greater than, just. The value v doesn't equal two. So it can be less and it can be more. So it can't be 2. So we can write V is not equal to here. Look at the answers. Here V is not equal to here N is greater than 22. Now here we have some examples. I will show the answers and explain on the answers. Up to 12 people P can ride in the van. So this van we can put 12 people or less. But we can't put more than 12. So he write up to 12. 
So I write P or um, yes, P is less than 12 or equal 12 because the number can be 12. Here, a number of days D of sunshine is not 22, 28. So it can be 28, it, uh, it can be 29, 26. It can a number greater than 28 or less than 28. The distance of the race R is far, farther than 6.2. Farther than, this means greater than 6.2. The value V of the bracelet is less than $85. So V is less than $85. Can it be $85? No, it can't be $85. By this, I think it's clear for you how to write in quality to present a real-world situation. Thank you very much.